Hello, this is Craig from Bizbox the UK. So it's ten years, um, ten years to the day um, tomorrow. So I'm filming this on the 24th of September 2016. Uh, so on the 25th of September 2006, that was the day um, Bizbox went live for the first time. And then on the 29th of September 2006, we had our first order. Hooray! Um, I wish I had um, the information here on who was our first customer. I'm since since our site was redesigned last year, um, well, we don't have that data anymore. So that's um, that's a shame. I'm sorry. Apologise, my chair's a bit squeaky. But um, yeah, ten years ago, um, Bitsbox went live. So um, yeah, essentially started by me and a friend. Um, going back a little bit before that, sort of we're fresh out of college. Um, plan was originally. For me, I'm not too sure about him, but my plan originally was to get a little job, get some money together, and then you know have a year out, go to university, and didn't really work out like that. Um, getting a job at the time um, was quite tough. Everyone wanted someone with experience, and you know what it's like when you're young and you don't have experience. It's just like a vicious cycle. And um, this is a seaside town where we live in, so there's a lot of seasonal work. A lot, you know, sort of young people sort of end up in that. Really, um, not really something I wanted. And um, yeah, at college I did um, a BTEC and ICT, and also did um, an A level in e business, which is like online business. So it's still quite a new thing back then, but it was always something I was interested in. And my friend did the same, and we thought, you know, if no one's hiring us, we could work for ourselves. Um, we were quite big into web design at the time. Um, we'd learned quite a lot of HTML and CSS, and even some PHP um, during our college course. So we could build, you know, some pretty standard websites. So we went on a little business course, um, networked with a few people who were starting up businesses, and we started our little web design business. And that was great to begin with, um, for a few months, making sites for people we networked with, made quite, a, not like a substantial amount of money, but at that time, when you're sort of fresh out of college, um, a few hundred quid here and there coming in seems great, and we're both living at home. So it's brilliant, um, but web design is a massively, massively crowded market. Like you are competing with um, big companies and twelve-year-olds in their bedrooms who know some code. You know, so many people offering web design services. You know, once you get past the people you network with, it then starts becoming hard to get anywhere, and you spend a fortune on AdWords just getting anywhere. And yeah, so we want to make some extra money. We made a couple of shot and cut websites for people before, so we knew how to um, sort of build an OS commerce site. So we thought we'll make one of our make one our own. Excuse me. Um. So yeah. Um. We both collected this thing called Warhammer, Warhammer Forty Thousand. At the time, we weren't really into it. During college, I weren't really sort of massively into it, my sort of interest had dropped off a bit, um, mainly because the guys I used to play play with um, weren't really into it anymore, my mate you know, weren't really into it anymore. I started a little bit of interest, I kept up to date with what was coming out and stuff. I used to go on portent.net if anyone remembers that, and of course later Wars here. And I'd all, I started all these spare bits, like loads, like just boxes full of bits. Um, mainly Chaos Space Marines, because I was a massive Chaos Space Marine player. So I thought wouldn't it be great if I could just set a little website up to sell these bits um, just for a little bit extra money. So a little bit of research. There was only one one other place at the time um, selling bits online. That was Battle Wagon Bits. I don't know if anyone remembers the original Battle Wagon Bits. Um, they were, um, I think they are based in North, North America. So there was no one at the time in the UK doing this. So we went on War Series, spoke to you know, put a few posts up asking people if they'd be interested in that, and yeah, there was quite a lot of interest. And Warseer was great to begin with as well. Um, we did advertise on Warseer, and some of the link in the signature got people to the site. That's really good. But yeah, um, so so we could we sensed straight away quite early on that the interest was there. So so yeah, we built the site, launched it on the twenty fourth September. There was probably hardly any bits on there. Um, I know we started off with corn berserkers. I had a lot of spare corn berserker bits. We might have bought a box or two of them as well. Um, I know someone else was um, 
go into start a bit site at sort of roughly the same time, and then they didn't for um, whatever reason. And I know we bought a lot of stuff off them. There's a lot of ogres I remember. And um, yeah, um, so I was just we were just putting up loads of spare bits, and the pictures were awful. The website looked terrible. Um, it's come a long, long way since then. Um, there, I think there might even be a post on our blog somewhere about um, the previous versions of a website. And I'm sure some of you guys might even have used us back then. But yeah, um, that started making a little bit of money. And at the time, we didn't, you know, we were both living at home, don't have bills, don't have rent or mortgage to pay. So all the money was just going back into the site. We were just buying more stuff taking pictures of them, uploading them, selling stuff and it sort of just grew and grew and grew and eventually um, the income from that overtook what we were making from web design so we didn't, we sort of just slowly stopped doing that and eventually um, we, we closed that business and sort of focused on this one and about three years later um, we're doing really well actually, um, business is doing really good it had quite a lot of um, money in the bank and um, we weren't really taking much out for ourselves still um, I think we were actually um, at one point we were just just we were just taking the money out what we got from the credit card purchases and all the PayPal stuff just stayed in the business and went on stock and tax and stuff like that um, at the time because of being a business partnership there weren't much tax to pay either because um, you sort of both your um, income tax threshold sort of merged to like one to one massive income tax threshold so that was really nice and um, yeah, so um, at the time um, we were just taking that money out, and it wasn't—it didn't equate to much, a few hundred a month really. Um, but for us living at home, you know, being in our early twenties, it's you know, it's fantastic. Um, it still feels great. Yeah. And uh, of course, um, we we went our separate ways after that. After about three years, um, it wasn't. Well, I'm still friends with him. I will put that. Um, we're still really good mates, actually. Um, I see him most most weeks now. Um, but yeah, um, it sort of got to a point where um, I think he wanted to just do his own thing. So so yeah, um, I bought his share of the business off him, and he's done his own thing. He's he's now um, in retail management and doing quite well. And I'm running this site. I'm wearing. I'm the sole owner of the site now. Um, I make enough money to pay the bills, I've now got me in place in that, so yeah, it's a proper job for me, um, just in case anyone um, thinks this because there's still some people who think this is just something we do on the side for spare time, but no, it's a full-time job, um, I can't tell you how long it takes to cut stuff off sprues, so it's literally every weekday afternoon I'm chopping stuff off sprues, and yeah, um, I do have a little bit of help now and then, um, eventually I'll probably have more more help and hopefully I can take the business to the next level really. I have probably been sort of the last sort of seven years I've had it on my own maybe sort of been content with a certain sort of level of where the business has been but sort of over the last well maybe over the last year um, I've certainly started to take it further now. Um, I still take the same weight Wage, in fact, I actually take slightly less. Excuse me. Um, I, I take slightly less money out of the business now than I used to. Only a little bit per month less, but that's just so I can start um, putting even more into stock. And yeah, um, I don't plan on taking any more money out of the business, so um, everything we make now, I'm just trying to put back into stock. Obviously, there's it's money put aside for taxes and stuff like that. And yeah, so I'm hoping just to try and stock more and more um, as we go on. Hopefully the next, you know, hopefully I'm sitting here again in 10 years and the site's just growing even more and we can really keep up with demand better. So yeah, um, I know there's always people moaning that we don't stock enough. And it's very, it's just very difficult. Um, I'm not going to start making excuses and stuff, but, you know, I like to... Um, get everything chopped up chopped up and sorted out with the sprues and then put on the site. I know there are other bit sites out there who are happy just to stock stuff as soon as it comes in and then they sort it out as, as and when it's bought. 
Um, we tried doing that at one point actually when we first started and it, once you get to a certain size it's just very difficult. You end up with piles of sprues all over the place and you're trying to find one head on a pile of 50 sprues or something and then, you know, it's a nightmare. So, so yeah, um, everything gets sorted out and yeah, maybe one day I'll do a video and show them all where all our stock is if anyone's got any interest in that. Um, um, leave comments below actually if there's anything you want to see sort of um, behind the scenes here. I'm always happy to to share um, any questions as well. I'm always happy to answer. I want to be sort of quite transparent with the business. I think when we first started, we were sort of more sort of um, I won't say shy, but sort of sort of faceless really. Um, my friend who I started a business with, he's he's not the sort of guy who'd be sitting here doing this on camera. So um, yeah, we sort of shied away, I suppose. A bit sort of a faceless organisation, but over the last sort of couple of years, um, I've really sort of tried to go more in for YouTube and social media and stuff like that, and it's been really enjoyable. Um, excuse me, my fruit's kind of dry. And um, yeah, um, I can't believe how long I've been babbling. There's still more I want to talk about. So um, yeah, that's a brief history, brief history of Bitsbox. Um, if anyone want to know any more? Um, yeah, comments, questions, always happy to answer. So yeah, um, other things I want to talk about though is we're going to celebrate t 10 years, so that means I want to offer some stuff back to our customers, because um, without our customers, I won't be sitting here making this video. You know, so customers will keep the business going. Um, so many customers over the years, they're all fantastic. Um, I'm really grateful for everyone who buys from us or watches our videos and yeah um, thank you so much to everyone so we're going to give back a little bit um, so all this week starting tomorrow which will be Sunday the 25th 10% um, off everything all week yeah, 10 years 10% um, keeping up with a 10 theme um, everyone who orders this week will be put into a prize draw and I have 10 or I will have 10 kind of betrayers to give away um, also, there's going to be some £10 vouchers um, going in every order. Now, originally I was going to do 10 £10 vouchers, but I'll probably do more than that, because that doesn't seem like a lot, especially over the course of a week, it's almost just over one a day. It's not that good, is it? So, so yeah, um, there'll be random £10 vouchers um, in people's orders, and I'm probably going to do some sort of subscriber giveaway at some point as well. Um, I don't know what to give away yet. Maybe something to do with Gene Sealer Cults because they look really cool. I'm sure you guys have um, seen the stuff was out for, the, for them. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, um, lots to look forward to. So um, thank you so much for everyone who's um, managed to get to the end of this video and listen to me babble on for 13 minutes. So yeah, all I have to say is thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything that's on this channel, and um, I've got more painting tutorials coming up, um, some for Halo, and just some generic ones, and hopefully some more bat reps over the coming months, or weeks, I should say, soon, and we're also going to have a little campaign, hopefully, very soon as well. So, lots to look forward to, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.